right from the start I could see the passion from the chairman down and I knew then that this was a place that was going to be going places so I, uh, I wanted to be part of that. It just seems like we're one, just one collective unit here, it doesn't matter if you play for the under 13s, if they're supported for 20 years, if you've only been supporters for one month. To me it's home from home the history, the heritage this club has got, and everybody looks after everybody. It's a nice community feel of being a staff lead, where I found in London Welsh. It's like the coaches have kind of instilled a good balance in the team, so look, when we come down to training, we're here to train. When we go on the pitch, we're here to win. I, I wouldn't say I've got a strict coaching philosophy, and I like to think I can adapt with what I'm working with, really. I like to ask the, the players to make good decisions, obviously, and allow them to have that freedom to make um, decisions. Team dynamics. The last two or three years, it's like a going back to a professional team. Everything is set up properly with Sonny and Kai coming in and Will. They brought the professional ethos into the amateur side. Everything is laid out every in 30 minute blocks. The team run, the team talk. The last three years has been very dynamic for me personally. Well, for me, I, you know, I just want to try and add, add value to, to the club. I remember my time here as, as, a, as a young player, and I look back on that with really fond memories. And if I can kind of offer, offer some of that experience and, and a mentor, and uh, hopefully add a bit of value on the pitch as well. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a shouty coach, but um, I try to demand a standard that um, we all want to achieve and to ultimately go for promotion again this year. It has to be the full promotion by this. It, for me, it's if I don't get that, I felt I've failed the club itself. When you when you play for a club like London Welsh, um, it sticks with you. You know, you don't just you, you never really leave. Oh, this one's easy. It's it's, uh, it's all about passion and, and heritage, rugby DNA really. I think the first time I ran out on the ODP pitch, that was pretty special. Uh, our first sort of game of the comeback against uh, Watford started that game. You know, seeing the. London Welsh shirt hanging up on the peg, that was pretty special as well. Uh, I think when we won that game, that was sort of when I knew it was a pretty special club and a pretty special night afterwards as well. I think part of the bond comes from like the mission um, that was set initially at the start of like getting those four promotions in five years. So the boys are all bought into that um, and yeah, unified to like that one sort of journey there. But, I mean, the extracurriculars help as well. So there's a real core cool unit of the lads that go out after after games and yeah, always always together. I think it was one day a month last season where we only up for food, kind of free meal, nothing boozy. But when it got to the winning the games, that was the boozy part as well, which we all enjoyed. New players come in the last two years. They quickly get into what we want from them or how we feel about moving forward and they just all bind in together. It's the group of players we've got, but also the, the support that we have here. We've, we've got about six to 800 people that come here. A lot of teams that we go to, we swamp their, their home fans. To pull on that Welsh top and play on a pitch like this in front of a crowd that fills this week in week eight is really, really special.